Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we have here Azazel level 18 and showing you my lineup now, guys. Okay, so this stage has been one of the hardest so far for me um, in coming up with um, a balanced lineup, number one, with uh, AOE, with control, and with sustainability in terms of HP and damage as well. So this is the most balanced balanced team that I've had. So um, fortunate that I was got. I'm really good with Milim and Rimuru. Then we have a new one here, which is going to be uh, forgot her name, <laughs> Crocelle. Okay. So, Crocelle is anchoring the middle. She is at 5-star um, for me already. So, she's anchoring the middle for this defense. And let's try this one out. Okay, I've had a lot of variations for this team. Including having to have um, a second healer previously um i did use zarola previously as well but i found out that Z zarola is really effective only in one lane especially if there are a lot um behind or there are a lot lining up in that same lane so i put in crucell and really had a wonderful you know wonderful time in terms of clearing this stage i'll show you guys the gear that they have later so that you could uh, more or less see what they have um equipped for me to clear this one so so far we're good with um, wave one we're now with wave two so for those who you know for those who don't wish to see the equipment you can actually skip it in a while that's why i had to showcase this first so that I could ensure that um, all the equipment that I used is actually uh, going to be good for this run. So also the, the switch from Mako to, to Rixia was actually very, very nice. They're, they're very sustainable. Rimuru is, should be in the middle, definitely. Because of AoE, Milim as well, and also for Crucell. So the three of them should be in the middle um, for any wave moving forward. I think that is your standard formation already. Um, if you want to clear, uh, clear um, consistently and also have a wide area of damage, definitely you'll be, you ha you have to have Milim and uh, Rimuru in the middle and Crucell for that control with freeze with um also with curse so definitely she is going to be more effective than zarola in these types of of stages i'm not saying that crucelle is going to be better than zarola at, any, at everything but for these types of waves crucelle will definitely be more useful to you um, that is why right now, during her banner, please do take her up to at least 5-star Peach. So that you could actually use her in stages like these. Okay? So we're down. We're already actually in Wave 3. Wave 4 is a bit challenging for me as I noticed um, when I did a dry run for this one. So hopefully, after Wave 4, we don't have any casualties. That is what I'm expecting. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can do that. <laughs> because again, um, it increases your chance of, of clearing stages if all are still alive um, by wave four. So we're at wave four. So as I mentioned, this is the stage we're in. They really have to survive. Uh, really, really dreading this stage, especially for the ultimate of those two bunny-eared thingies at the back. As you can see, they're one. Then, if the other one is in 
the other one will also put out its ultimate in a while. So definitely you'll be needing Zuki Liang here. If he, if there's no ultimate, then we're good. We're good. We only need to absorb one ultimate for this one. If we absorb one another ultimate, then I don't think you're gonna be you know be intact by wave five. So I think we're good. We absorb one. Then we're at wave 5. So this is the last one that we have survived. We're nearly there. Hopefully. Oh, sorry. Mako is still there. I didn't notice her. I forgot who I subbed out for Erixia, by the way. But you'll be needing two healers. So Mako, Zephyr. Then you have shared health for Erixia. Then you have Zuki Liang, of course, again for um, preventing lethal damage. So hopefully again we can survive this. Mako is actually the one that is usually on the brink of death. If I'm not mistaken for any of my lineups that I've used here. But as you can see, Milim, Rimuru, and Krusel are really holding on. Very successful clearing of waves here. So Mako again on the brink of death with a shield. Then let's wait for the next wave. So we are how many how many left by the way? So as long as Mako is alive or is there our chances are actually higher. But um again you could actually lose one by wave five and still, you know, close this out. So, so far, again, the bunny. Kill the bunny, not the bunny. The milk carton. Kill the milk carton the back. I think this is the last one. Last, last minion. Last minion. There you go. Go. Kill. There you go. This is level 18, guys, and cleared it with that lineup. Okay, so... Let's check out the gear that I used for this team. Okay, let's start off with Milim on the top. So Milim has ultimate set, of course, then has a crit set as a two-piece set. Then I have her exclusive badge. Then this is just something I threw in extra. <laughs> I didn't have um, any, uh, what do you call this, adornment for her, but this is something extra. This one was from our event in December last year then we're off to rimuru so rimuru has lifesteal for survivability defense obviously for, because he's in the front and he has his um exclusive badge as well and also the, his exclusive um adornment as well so next up is erixia erixia is going to be equipped with support set I used my support set on her. Very effective, I tell you. More effective than HP set. So if you have support set, guys, please do use it on Erixia. Then the other two is going to be your HP set. So if you have support set, then a 4P set with support and 2P set with HP would be good. Then you have Eternal Glory Badge for her for um, survivability, additional survivability. Then we have Zephyr here, by the way. So for Zephyr, she's a healer. Definitely, she's going to be all HP. Then go with your Eternal Eden badge. Um, the helper is exclusive. This is going to boost her max health by 10% as well. And again, this is very useful for her. So also, um, I used um, exclusive enhancer for um, uh, what do you call this for helpers. So periodic healing and restore three energy and reduces next damage taken by twenty, and has HP bonus as adornment for Zephyr. Moving on to the others who I brought, uh, Mako, who I forgot I have in my team. So Mako also a healer. Definitely bring all HP set. Then a e Eternal Eden badge as well. Uh, I forgot to mention Ayane Okada. So Ayane here I should have a lifesteal also for her survivability. Then 
They uh, this is similar to Rimuru's um set equip or set you know, combo. But for her badge, definitely equip her with mids eternal midsummer for additional accuracy. And also um her exclusive um adornment I used it also for Ayane. Okay, so who did I forget? Um, Megan, I did not forget. I'm just looking for her. So Megan is ultimate set, of course. Then you have here for the two-piece set, your heal set. Then you have the Eternal Glory badge as well for her, for, for additional survivability. Who else didn't I showcase yet? So I think that's it. No. This is the last one. Zuki Liang um, is going to be equipped with attack set and crit set here. Two-piece crit set. Then, obviously, you have to max out the end time internal badge for him. Boost damage by 24% against enemies that are ignited. So, I think that's the last one. I don't think I missed anyone anymore. Um, just looking at my recap here. And I think I do have them all and you know mention all of their equipment so there you go guys so hopefully um this guide helps you a lot for level 18 for those who are still struggling with this it's really hard level 18 so um be sure to take advantage of our new arrivals milim rimuru and Crusel to clear this one anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far so take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here